I guess. Well, you can say what you want, but you did try to make it work for you. I mean, that's better than just waiting for Dan to skin you before you get all crinkled and old. That's right. My dad once told me about doing things on your own terms. You're really funny, aren't you? I'm glad you <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then we have scene, eight, scene 18, and Dan and Sweetheart are back in the limousine, and Dan says, So, what do you think? I think everything will work out just fine. Good. So scene 19, um, this is where Sweet goes into the house of She's a Hero and tries to remove all the evidence before the detectives... He says one day he'll keep my skin. It's a thing they do here, apparently. Yeah. Okay, I'm seeing the I'm seeing the ownership thing there. <laughs> <laughs> and selling your underwear to Shizo would have made enough money for you to disappear for good. Yeah. But Kumo, your guy, broke his neck dancing in front of my bare ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> I didn't read the description. Yeah. Like when I read the script, I didn't read the description, just that line. So I didn't know like he really did that. What? Yes. Yeah. He really. Okay. Yes, okay. he really did that. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. gonna be great. Uh, and now Dan being real pissed with you, you got no one left to turn to. So even if it's a crazy plan, you gotta do it. Right. Thank you. Just talking as a partner in crime here, you know, someone who's in the same boat, same kind of boat. I mean. You never back down. Never. And like your song starts. Sorry. Yeah. I like this song. Baby, come back. <laughs> <laughs> Baby and closing on each other, their faces inches and an inch away from each other, there's electricity in the air between them now. Baby, come back. <laughs> you know what baby says? You like listening to music? Yeah, it gets me drifting away. You? Yeah. Gets me going. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go like the scenes are written very compact. You know they're like they have a, a beginning and an ending, so we can use them as treat them as these packages. That I did that on purpose, so we can we can work that way. Yeah. So we can do the scene with you guys in the sushi restaurant. We can do the scene with the onsen. We can do the scene in the maiden bar. So that gives us the opportunity to also work more flexible because we're all doing this with our you know, our own labor. Mm -hmm. um, we have the locations already decided. For so I, I, I have a set of locations I like. Mm -hmm, but we have to check. Them. Yeah. And, um, um, and then I will just, you know, communicate with you, hey, when are you available to work on this scene? You know, we do maybe one or two rehearsals, depending on how comfortable you are with the scene. And then we shoot it. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be off duty for a while until we do the next one um, because because we have no budget and we're doing this um, with the what I would like to call the percentage investment return mm -hmm. so you will all sign a contract where you would receive a percentage after the sale is done mm -hmm. um, it means that we do not have any money to pay anything ahead right. mm -hmm. so it means that we need to convince scenes where we need larger amounts of people um, um, with what we have. So I would like to shoot the smaller scenes first where we just need like two or three guys, just us, market, you know. Market that. Mark, market that to inspire a larger group of people to come over and shoot the, the more complicated ones. Very nice. So in that sense, we will probably start, you know, with you guys in the sushi restaurant or something. Nice. I think that's going to be the first one. <laughs> yeah. Naked scene first. Yeah! yeah. 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 I want to yeah. see the slip and break neck scene. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you shoot a fish eye laser? Yes. <laughs> so I you have a kumo? Do you have a kumo? I have a kumo. So oh, that's going to be Evan. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. oh man. Evan yeah. is a slick oh, looking a French guy. Yeah, yeah. he's a George Clooney wow. French. Yeah. yeah. So he's going to be slick back in latex and black with these teeny tiny shades and his deep oh, wow. French oh, voice. My God. Oh, wow. So that's going to be perfect. His, yeah. He does great work. He does great work. Yeah. yeah. It's really funny. I know. So that, I, that's why I got him, because I know that he's got it. So... By the way, I have another question. Did you choose these two characters because of... Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I did. Oh my god! You said that. Yes. And by the way, uh, we didn't do it today, but there's an Oshibori scene. <laughs> yeah! We should Easter egg that shit. There is an Oshibori scene in there. And then you should like, you start wiping your face like, dude, only we do it. Oh my god. Yeah.
<laughs> yeah, I saw the chemistry and I thought like this needs more. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. Yeah. Thank you. So okay, so what you can do in, in when we when we are not when you're not shooting is just you know put the script on next to your toilet or whatever, read it every now and then. Um, you know, it's not like, it's not necessary for you to know your lines super well because you know when you shoot film, you shoot in paces. You know, you shoot a you shoot a couple of lines and you cut. You shoot a couple of lines and you cut. But because this is all rambling and there's I usually talk a lot, it is good to repeat it when you can, so you get really, really familiar with what you have. And again, so for you, for you too, like um, if you like, they they already did a little bit. If you see that text sort of feels different because you know you, you get into the character, just say it. Well, you know, just just go with what you feel. So everything is written into this this rambling sleeve of these characters, I want you to fit it on. If you feel a word just falls a little different, go for it, yeah? And then uh, what I will focus on most is just uh, more action than interaction. Not, okay. not so much text. Okay. So that's it. Right. Cool, man. Hey. Yeah. Cool, thank you. Cool. cool. Yeah, man. Awesome. Thank you so much, I'm glad that you'll like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, yes. In terms of like, Costume yes. wise, yes. how like do we have to provide our own costume or? Um, I'm just... gonna. That is a good point. So with costumes, mm, yeah. I will ask what you have, mm. and then I will add on if ne if needed. Yeah. So like that, yeah. So I, I drew some really rough drawings. Oh, good. Okay. Um, so Very this is okay. eventually I decided to go with you like what I call hidden yellow. So I, I discovered that the color yellow symbolizes bravery in Japan. Mm -hmm. So I want because she is the one that survives. She's the one that pulls through. She has like this yellow under these gray and blackish garments. So she has like this you know lustlessness so and then match your husband. the yellow inside. Cool. There is your blue. <laughs> He's blue. The color of uh, a very active color, but apparently also the color for depression. I didn't know. You are the color of green oh, nice. and gold. <laughs> the color of greed. Reason. <laughs> <laughs> You're red. The color of violence.